Hey there, Bob from Oregon's Casa Gardener. Welcome to the OCG Fam Show. What do you got going on? Let me know in the comments, we'll talk about it. It's moving day for our exotic peppers. They, uh, they need to stretch their legs a little, so we're gonna get them a new home. Mmm, that's good. We're gonna need some number four nectar soil, some five gallon of pots, and some Bigfoot granular mycorrhizae. Let's just get going. I missed you guys yesterday. Uh, I was wanting to come in and do a, a Christmas show, coming on Christmas Day, but I just got, just got too busy with the family. We had a lot going on. It was a wonderful holiday. Had the, oh boy, whole family there. I hope you had a good time. But uh, I did, I did look in the comments and I really appreciate all the kind words from all of you. Uh, boy, it was something else. I, I really appreciate it. So I think we got just about enough dirt in there. We'll make a little uh, a little room to put our plant in there. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to wet down the sides a little. So that um, our Bigfoot granular mycorrhiza, let me get that out here, is going to stick to those sides a little better. Get a little better contact with our roots is what I'm, what I'm thinking there. I guess I don't have a scoop in there. Let's just kind of, there we go. There we go. There we go. Put that in there. Okay. Okay. We got our uh, stuff in there. Get one of our Earth of Beavers out. Oh, he's got some good roots. Let's get them all down in there. You know, this makes me think with uh, Bigfoot Mycorrhiza, we should check up on those guys, see how they're doing. You know, I don't know if you know this about Bigfoot, they're fairly new to the business company. They've been in the business a long time, but they're just starting their company up. So uh, why don't we give them a call and see what they got going? Let's do that. We'll get the old Skype going and see what these guys got going on. Let's see here. FaceTime. The FaceTime, not the Skype. Dan, what's going on? <laughs> I'm being too loud. How you doing? I am wonderful. How are you doing? Happy I'm doing... I'm doing good. Happy holidays to you too. So I was just replanting a plant. We were putting some uh, Bigfoot mycorrhiza in there, and I was thinking, I was talking to everyone that we should uh, we should check up on you, see how you're doing. Now, it seems like you guys have not been uh, doing the business that long. How long have you guys been in business? Yeah, well, the business has been around for a little bit uh -huh. um, longer than the Bigfoot mycorrhiza. I got gotcha. you. Uh -huh. in January 2017. And uh, Zach was doing some other things underneath the uh, mycorrhizal umbrella before then. Uh -huh. Yeah, we launched Bigfoot 2017, January. So more so the products knew the company's not. That's that's when we, we kind of got in touch with you was with all that thing. So um, how's it going? It's going great. I can't complain. Um, I'm very thrilled with where the product has gone, um, how it's been received by the the market and the growers and um, it's been honestly it's been like the funnest thing I've ever done so very cool very cool and, and complain. <laughs> so I guess you guys are getting bigger and bigger as it's going on looks like you're you know it's going well how is it what's been tell us the, the story a little bit you know what you over the last year or so uh, yeah I mean, I mean I mean realistically I think we started out kind of like any other small company and um, we knew we had something that we could bring to market, and we saw success on our, um, you know, on a micro level mm -hmm. um, locally. Mm -hmm. And some things, you know, the, the ingredients that we kind of came out with, uh, we were using before to an extent. We modified it a little bit more that um, to be more uh, diverse, I guess you could say, uh -huh. and uh, reach more customers. And so uh, when we took this to market, we kind of just held our breath and. We're like, let's see how this thing works. And, and uh, it, I, I wouldn't necessarily say it exploded, but I think that we have some really passionate people behind, um, you know, using our product. And yeah, yeah, yeah. It's been really good. You know, we've seen, I mean, I got a stack of, you know, this is what I'm doing today. Uh -huh. Is a new registration in new states um, kind of going forward. And so we, we initially wanted to hit kind of our uh, West Coast. Sure. Um, know uh since we're kind of local to the west coast of uh -huh. course you know we hit oregon first and then uh california and colorado washington and then just kind of expanding out and as we get stores that want to bring our product then we register in the states first and then i got gotcha. uh, get the products up it's, and it's really cool to me they kind of like our creativity and something that uh, we kind of had in mind away from everything that zach's had going on mm -hmm. um you know it's basically uh, family business on the other end. Um, 
sure. Like, traditional agriculture, something that we created. Now, like we have people in you know different parts of the world that are requesting our product, which is cool. I mean, I think it's like yeah. it's something that if this whole thing just implodes and uh, <laughs> you know it's not on, on the street in five years, then be I can tell my kid, yeah, I chased the dream. So well, very uh, cool. So, uh, well, what do you guys got planned for the new year? New year. So, like I said, we're moving into a lot of other states. Um, we've kind of been working on some, uh, laying some groundwork for some more representation nationwide. Mm -hmm. uh, we have uh, a nursery guy out in the, the Carolinas that's yeah. going to be working directly with uh, the nursery side as far as, um, you know, flowers and things like that. But oh. specifically what he's working with at is the nurseries. I gotcha. Uh, that actually, so... It's something that I don't think a lot of companies in our industry are um, really looking at, but it's something that we, we're, we're going to take a chance on it. This uh -huh. guy comes with a crazy good background, and we've, we've known him for a long time. And, and it kind of started with we sent him the Bigfoot product as a gift. Uh -huh. We're cheap, and we like to our own product for <laughs> Christmas gifts. Uh -huh. But we got that out to him, and uh, he, was, he was like, what is this stuff? And so um, he kind of became passionate about it, and... Uh, it's been really good. He actually closed down his uh, his business to run with this. So he's kind of at the retirement age and oh, has, wow. you know, uh -huh. total, it's total, it's like an unlimited amount of time to have him work on this. So it's been fun. So uh, we're actually uh, kind of, you know, I don't even know if I should be going into this, but yeah. we're looking at maybe uh, building a facility, a new facility here. And because we're kind of outgrown our, our office, uh -huh. you know, start to be cluttered and um, now that with our real estate market down here in Grants Pass is starting to really drop, we're able to maybe look at some things. So oh, we'll what? see. I mean, it's like a big, it's kind of a big, big step. Here, yeah. <laughs> yeah. It, it, it wouldn't be good for us. I mean, I'm dreaming here, but you know, Zach might say something else. <laughs> I gotcha. Well, yeah, things are good. I, I've heard tell, uh, rumors that, that you guys are kind of changing up your packaging a little bit. We are. <laughs> is that a secret? <laughs> Well, okay, so we are changing our package, but it's not a drastic change. Uh -huh. So, um, if you guys, I can show you the old packaging and yeah, yeah. the new packaging, and it'll be really quick if you just hold on. All one. right, all right. No, we got all the time in the world. <laughs> okay. That's the loose ones over here, so. And if our office looks really messy, we're getting it cleaned uh, on Friday. So that's another big, you know. <laughs> the once a year, huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty, uh, yeah the, you know, deep clean. So the old packaging everybody's used to sure. is just kind of getting cluttered because we started out and wanted you know, everybody to know, like, okay, what is this product used for? Mm -hmm. And it's like people that are using our products, they understand. They're going to the grocery stores. They understand what the products are used for. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, but it was good for the initial, you know, push in the market. But then we got our CDFA organic uh, label, which is right here. Uh -huh. We got our Omri. Then we got the team of microbes, Jeff Lonefels, we're an endorsed product through him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. And so we kind of, it just started adding on to our label. And it's like. This keeps going um, and going. It's like, it's like, it's like a rock. It's like, come on, we got to clean up the clutter a little bit. So. Uh, you know, granular, same thing. Yeah. Same certification on there. So what we're changing to is, and this is the first time anybody's ever seen this. Holy so moly! This is going to be. Oh wow! And these are these are uh, obviously prototypes. We're going to get those. Yeah. Uh huh. Finalized everything. Oh but, wow! A lot uh, simpler. Labels on it. Took away the archway, whatever. I mean, we can go into the details. <laughs> and then the concentrate bag. So they're just a lot cleaner. That's uh, nice. Another thing we're doing with concentrate is we're going to a glossy bag. So, Ooh. as you can see, this one's a matte. Uh -huh. Anyone who's uh -huh. used our product understands how stat, like, static like clean. Yeah, it gets all over, yeah, especially yeah. with the, the, the that, yeah, the, the concentrate. Right. So, with the new bags, these bags are here with the, the matte bags. Uh -huh. These have to get a bath after we hand pack them. So, oh. Uh -huh. uh, our guys who hand pack these, they have to actually run these through and they give them a bath. So that takes out an entire spot with the gloss. You can just do a dry wipe for this one. Oh, so nice. I know this is stuff that people don't care about, but to us, it's like... We care, we're nerds about it, too. Things are coming. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's awesome. So we need to go to the and change our logo or anything. I think that 
Um, we get a really good response from the logo, and I think we had a home run with it, um, you know, as far as a marketing standpoint. But yeah. I don't know. I'm a, I have a degree in marketing, so <laughs> I better come out with it. You, know, you better come out with marketing. something. <laughs> I better do okay. Yeah. Well, cool. But, yeah, no new products. You know, we've kind of stuck behind the two products that uh-huh. we have. Um, we don't have any intentions of bringing them out. I know, uh-huh. um, I think we had talked about last year, we actually tested a new product. Uh-huh. Um, a new mycorrhizal product and uh-huh. we went really high end with high propagule counts and um, adding some other ingredients uh-huh. and the funny part about it is we put it in the ground and it didn't outperform the stuff we had so oh, wow. we kind of put a kibosh to it you so, feel like there's like there's a point where it's uh you don't want not enough but you get to enough and a lot more doesn't make much difference is that what you what you yeah, found I mean, we kind of challenged some of the information anybody who's familiar with this with dr mike amaranth is sure you know, zach that's Adam, obviously is one of the um, most renowned mycorrhizal scientists, uh-huh. but he, you know, they've had lots of documentation that the more propagules you add, there's no effect. And actually, if you overload the plant with a ton of propagules, has a negative effect. So we went super high, and we started tailoring it back, you know, from the high point. Uh-huh. We just ran them through the labs to see what the colonization level was. And what we found out is the more we added, we didn't see any difference. And actually, there was a negative effect on the really high amount. So we put a kibosh to it, and it was uh-huh. like, you know what, there's no reason to confuse the consumer. I think sometimes companies, you know. It's a marketing thing. A company that yeah. Has, yeah, it has like a niche market, mm-hmm. and they decide to bring out a, a whole gamut of products. And yeah. It's overwhelming to an extent. I can't even keep up with it. It's, yeah. You know, so. I understand there are reasons that they do that, but I don't know. Better to be authentic, I think. So I guess you kind of found you got to go past the edge to find the edge kind of situation, and you found like you were in a pretty good spot where you are. Yeah, and uh, I mean, we, it did take a long time when we first launched the product, and uh, I think this is why we appealed to the OCG. Obviously, you guys are a very difficult store to get products <laughs> into, uh-huh. um, and you were one of our first stores, but... Um, you know, talking with Bray and those guys mm-hmm. and Scott, and we took a long time developing this product because we knew it didn't matter what package it came in or what kind of marketing we did or gimmicky things we did, the product had to be solid. So, sure. uh, going through that and really, I mean, we always say like we, we feel like we turned every stone over and did we? No, but we did test this extensively. and. It basically was, you know, we have a test facility across town that we do. We have a ner- little nursery there, and uh-huh. we do all our testing at greenhouses and things like that. Um, traditional plants, uh, I might add. So we do a lot of things like tomatoes and strawberries and seasonal flowers and things like uh-huh. that. So we literally we just looked across and had it all documented. And we go, okay, what's the best looking flowers out here? Mm-hmm. And so we pulled roots off the best ones, the worst ones. We test against other products. And then we run them through the colonization labs, um, you know, they're accredited labs, and, and it was like, okay, let's retest this this one that scored high, let's keep doing it, uh-huh. and it continually, over and over again, kept testing high, so Found you were there. that's the problem. Yeah. Wow. Well, very cool. Yeah. Well, we don't want to keep you too long. I sure appreciate you answering the, 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 the FaceTime and talking with us a little bit. Everybody was, uh, you know, wanting to talk to you, so that's very cool. Okay! That was fun. I sure appreciate Dan doing that. I hope you found that informative and entertaining. I think that's the show for today. Yeah, we'll be talking with Dan more and more as time goes on about the Bigfoot, about other stuff. So I'm going to finish up with these, but uh, you can just go on about your day. I love you. I'll see you tomorrow. For more information about anything on today's show, go to our website, ocgfam.com. And if you buy anything while you're there, use the code FAM20. It's going to save you 20%, and it's a lot of fun. The OCG Fam Show, it's pretty good, it happens every day. It's the OCG Fam Show. See you tomorrow.